Where else would you rather be? Is there a place you'd rather be right now? Is there any place in the world that you'd rather be right now, this minute, than right here? Hit, hit, hit. No! Boom, boom, boom! All right, let's work. Sometimes there's only one word to describe the feeling of coming home. Booyah! Thank you, Joe. You know what? This just feels right. <laughs> Walking through the door. Um, home is here. Home has always been in Baltimore. My heart has always been in Baltimore. To always be in Baltimore. And, you know, you just have that feel, you know, that you don't get other places. You know, like I said, I went to other places. I know how it is out there, you know, to some degree. But you can tell when guys come here and play here, they, they leave here knowing that they were part of something. You know, it's not like you were here and it was a job. You know, you're part of something when you come to Baltimore. We had a pretty amazing day here yesterday. Um, who knows what it was? Ed Reed retired, okay? Well, here's a guy that just ended his career, right? And just 12 years ago, which seems like a long time. But coaches, we agree, 12 years goes very fast in life. And Ed, Ed Reed would tell you that before you know it, you know, you're sitting up there in that table, you know, and, and having a moment like this, you know, and you gotta ask yourself, you know, what's your legacy gonna be? What's it gonna be? And this is the beginning, right? Isn't that exciting? Ray Lewis was here how many years, and Ed Reed just shows that if you really do dedicate your life to a single sport like they did and do everything you can to make yourself better towards that sport, greatness happens. I was a Miami Hurricane fan growing up just because of him and guys like him, um, and just seeing how great he was and the fact that he was in the same locker room, put on the same helmet, same jersey, that kind of puts into perspective that if you want to, you can leave that kind of legacy, and you just have to put in that work every day like he did. We are gonna do everything we can to get you ready to play in the National Football League this year. That's what you want, right? You want to play. You want to play this year. It's your dream. All you got to do is go to work today. What's important now, all right? Have a good day today. We'll end up every meeting by saying, let's work, when it's all said and done. Are we ready for that? All right, let's work. tell you something, you got so much talent, you know what I mean? Just do what you do, catch everything you can catch. You're, you're, gonna, be, you're gonna do really well. Here we go. Coming out here, you know, because a lot of things coming at you as a rookie, you're, I'm real, you can be real tense out there, but just to kind of have him say those words to me, it kind of calmed me down and just knowing that this coaching staff has faith in me, that it gives me like a clear mind when I hit the field. Hey, a lot of guys, that, we look like, I got a lot of guys that look like pro football players. That's a good thing. They look strong. They do, they really do. It is a big, strong, good looking group. Zadarius Smith looks just like Pernell. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's like they give him the same number. It's of unbelievable. Ones. Special teams with Coach Rossberg. Find your spot. Everybody should be running somewhere. You're good at it. Yeah, and you and good. Not bad. You want you step up a little bit to, to kickstart yourself. So get more of a stagger. Get a big old stagger. Now, like if you were gonna like say you were gonna jump straight up in the air, what would you do with your right foot? No, you wouldn't. You would, what would you do if you wanted to get a vertical jump? Right foot? Wouldn't you balance your right foot back oh, up? Yes, sir. Can you show me what you do? Boom, and then you jump, right? Go ahead and do it. Step and jump. That's what you do. That's all you're doing with this. Okay. You're getting yourself going. It's natural. That's why we do it this way. So just go ahead and do it. Now step and jump back. Jump back. There you go. It's real. It's a real natural movement. All right. That's why we do this. It's easier than kick stepping and catching. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it just fine. Set. It's worth working on because you're probably gonna be on the punt team. Right. Good start, coach. Yeah, you guys are quick learners, man. Quick learners. This is good. To the rookies, football comes naturally, but they have a ways to go in learning some of the nuances of practice. Zach, show them what a hand clap is. Show them what a hand clap is, Zach. Darn it, dang on it. Should have had that one. Nobody's impressed, right? We all know you should have it. Or how about this one too? My bad. My bad. Yeah, we know it's your bad. Get it right next time, right? Get behind the line too, by the way. You're bad on that one. <laughs> Back up tight end. I can just see you guys are going to be the guys that are going to call all the problems. Hmm? Just want to be in it. I knew you were going to say that. I mean, yeah, I've heard that a thousand times. Come on, guys. There's always going to be a line to stand behind. Come on. 
The only guy that won't do it is Steve Smith, but you know, we won't worry about him too much. Hey, you understand? One, two, three. It'll always be at least that far back. When the ball is in front of that line, then you stay on that. Yes, sir. Okay. I got you. You sure? Yes, sir. Cam didn't do that, huh? Yeah, he did. Oh, did he? Okay. Everything y'all did here, we did. Really? Okay. Well, that's yes, good. Sir. Good. So then you know. Yes, sir. A guy that's been through quite a few practices in his career and has stacked one of the finest wide receiver careers in the history of the National Football League is Steve Smith. I remember 15 years ago, I was doing this. Now I'm older, I'm like, 15 years? Some of these guys aren't that old. <laughs> you guys are summer interns. And at the end of the summer, they will decide who's staying on permanently and who didn't do a good enough job. And that's the reality of becoming an adult. Playing like a raven, it's unbelievable. I was in Carolina for 13 years, but on the way out, I gotta stop here and this, this is a great place, no better place. So if you get the privilege to be here, make sure you make a statement. And I always, I've been playing like this all my <coughs> life, and I believe in this when I step on the field. It's too late to turn back and make a play a day. All right? Move. On three. One, two, three. Ravens! Nice job. Next time on Inside Rookie Camp. Nick, nickel dog, we just went over this in the meeting. Can you have another meeting on the field? Practice. The field's for practice. The inside's for the meeting. When I get to the top, I don't want to see you pivot and round it. I want to see a clean plant. Open up at 45 and drive back through the cones, okay? It's a really a good group. They learn quickly. But also just learning how to practice like pros.